We're here at Shockstock Ghouls. I'm here with the one and only Dave Sheridan. Hello, Hello. how old are you? I am doing great. I'm here at Shockstock too. I just realized You are, it. you are here That's with me. That's what this is called. <laughs> You came here to see me, right? No, yeah. no, you didn't. What is I your came name? Here to see you. My name's Elvirus, Elvirus, but you can call me never. No, it's what? 2023, text me. Uh, yeah, I don't want a phone call. Exactly. We can, <laughs> oh, I could Dropbox you. Yeah, DM Drop me. Slip into, into my box. DMs, Dave. Exactly. <laughs> DM you. Okay, I first. In the BM. I what? First. Hello. <laughs> I love you. He's got an Eddie Murphy laugh. <laughs> I have a thing to say to you. <laughs> Trick! Ghost Trick! World. Ghost World. It's Ghost the World. First introduction from me to you i was obsessed with your character good obsessed thank you how did I that come it. apart about well apart. it it was based on a guy that i grew up with in my neighborhood and i made a short film and at that point it was called stewart so stewart dude learn the rules it's america and he was looking for becky becky and that's how he <laughs> talked and uh dan klaus and Terry Zweigoff loved that character. I, they saw the short and they said, we want you to come do a couple days on Ghost World. So and that's it. That, and that's how it I went. I was obsessed with that film. Watching yeah. Over and over I and love over. that film. It's, there's so many great, that's a film that you can, you can, if it's on TV, you could start watching it because it's really such a series of funny little bits. You and know what I mean? The, the music, the, the soundtrack great. alone. Yeah. It's brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. exactly. And then you go from that to Doofy, Officer Doofy. Yes. There, I didn't even know you were the same person. There's many really mustaches. not. It's right. completely different character acting. Yeah, yeah. It's fun to do. They're You're always good based at on it. Yeah, I just play people I know in my name. That was also a short film called yes. Chip. Right. And I made two short films. Miramax saw that and they called me up saying, We want you to play Chip as Doofy. And right. I read that and yeah, there you go. Tell us the connection, if you don't mind, with the amazing Chris Farley. Chris Farley and I met when I worked at Saturday Night Live, and then I would go out. Did you listen to like my podcast, or did you just listen to an interview? Let me have stopped you a little bit. Okay, so yeah, like I, over Eddie the Murphy. Years. It's Eddie Murphy. This is Eddie Murphy's laugh. Oh, no. I, got, I act like Jim Carrey, and I laugh like Eddie Murphy. Yes, there you go. Okay. <laughs> the best of both like worlds. It. Exactly. So. Ultimately, I don't even know what the question was. What was it? Chris Farley, yeah. <laughs> yes, the connection. Yeah, well, outside of just doing cocaine with him, um, but that's everybody, <laughs> Maybe we should right? focus on that. Yeah, no, that, that's... Is this therapy? No, That's go not back special, to, that's everybody. Go to the fun yeah, <laughs> I was trying to be, I was trying to perform, <laughs> and other cast members, I'm not gonna name their names because we're talking about Chris, they took me out to do stand-up, we came back, we listened to notes and he said, well, tell me, Chris said, well, what is your act? And um, my act was like doing commercial parodies and just playing characters on stage. Right. And he said, I think you would do better at Second City. I didn't know what that really was. I knew SCTV, but I didn't know Second City, like the theater. I didn't know how any of that worked. He made a phone call, got me hired, and I went from New York, I moved to Chicago. And that was amazing. Like that. So I owe him a lot. And then yeah. I cast his brother, Kevin Farley, in my movie, Frank McCluskey. So this I did as a, as like a thank you, because he's my partner in, in Frank McCluskey. So I, I said, it's gotta be Kevin Farley. Cause I wanted, that was my first major motion picture. And I'm like, I, I got there because of Chris. So I couldn't That's, hire him. Right. But it's a great cast of people That's though. So great. Yeah. And Betty White. Yeah. Not awesome. the drag queen, Betty White Castle from Harrisburg. Betty White, the yeah. legend. Yeah. Tell us about that. The Offer Rockers, that one? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I did prank shows forever. Yeah. Like everything, that's how I started was Buzzkill. And then like, uh, you know, When Animals Attack was one, you know, Scare Tactics. I don't know if you have that up here in Canada. Yeah, we do. Uh, Spy TV, there was one called Spy TV. But eventually, were, and then uh, I think it was from Scare Tactics with Halle Keeley. Yeah. They lined up the Betty White one off, her, okay. off the rockers, which what was, was like- What was it like to work with Betty White? I barely worked with her because she, she okay. did the interstitials like Tracy right. Morgan and Shannon, um, Shannon Doherty did the interstitials on our scare tactics. Right. They come in and just do a hosting thing, you okay. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but she was great. The premiere, I went to like this season premiere, it was really, I got to hang out with her. Yeah. And what was funny about it was she's old. She was old, she's, she's dead now. Yeah, um, I know, rest in peace. She was having trouble walking and stuff and 
she was having like a one friend hold a door and she goes i used to have way more friends but they all start dying once you live long enough so it was a funny joke she's yeah. like that's my only friend left to hold a door for me you i got a I mean? few seconds yeah. left until that's happening to me yeah exactly <laughs> oh no that's so sweet Thank now you. The legendary Felissa Rose. You two have worked on so many movies together. 35. Maybe 35? 36. She says I texted her. I go, I remembered one, but I don't know if I did or not. I know it's 35 is the last time I, I did the little list. And it just keeps going. Yes. How has that been? What's it like? Uh, to, tell us the dirt. Come on. Come on. Just me and you here. Well, okay. First of all, <laughs> I fell in love with her on the first movie. It was Victor Crowley. Yes. You know, I met her I know. at a convention like you guys here. It was Days of the Dead. Six months before that, six months before that, before we worked together, I met her at a convention. I said, hi, and that was really it. Like I sent her a script of mine because she was like, I knew she was a producer and stuff like that. So right. I kind of stalked her. Yeah. And then Adam Green cast us both in that movie. Right. And that's when I really got to know who she was. I was like, she's incredible. You yeah. Know what I mean, super mom, super producer, super talented actress. And you two you have know? natural chemistry together. Hey, how could you not? Yeah. You know, <laughs> I'm a man. <laughs> uh, she's a, the greatest woman ever. She's gorgeous. So. She's exactly. smart. She's talented. I'm not stupid. She's iconic. Exactly. I'm hitting you And my you're naturally that. hilarious. Yeah. Character actor that can do anything at this yes. point. Thank you. What about the Rob Zombie films? We got to get to that. We're at a horror con. I love them. I, I, yeah. I, I, I want to... I really hope that him and I can get together and do another, you know, Firefly one where Ray Dobson is now maybe like 15 years later okay, tracking yeah. them down, you know, Why not? wherever yeah. they're at. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that would be Because Ray Dobson, cool. I would imagine, went on to be the sheriff there at, at Ruggsville. But, you know, once they escaped from the state thing and then they ended up in Mexico was, was the end here. You right. You know, on Devil three, or three from Hell. Yes. So now has Ray Dobson gone rogue and he's in another country with some mercenaries trying to catch them, you know what I mean? Yes. I don't know. But it would be like in the 90s. I'll hashtag Rob Zombie. Hopefully he hears in here. Yeah, like what's a good 90 year? Come on, Rob. <laughs> All the 90s stuff that comes out is difficult for writers because the 90s is when everything fell apart and became homogenized. You yeah. know, there's no like specific 90s, yeah. you know? Yeah. But that's what's great about the 90s too. Now yeah. as a filmmaker is how do you dress up a 90s? How, you can't, you can't, you know, how do you become, how do you pick out the cliches of the 90s yeah. They're there, but they're they're harder to find. You know? Tacky t-shirts, long shirts underneath, Kurt Cobain, yeah. whole baggy stuff. Ghost baggy World. Stuff. Right. <laughs> exactly. That's the nineties. Yeah. I would agree. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Big gulp cups. Yeah. And bigger gulps. <laughs> What's been your best part of Shopstock this weekend? Hmm. Probably getting me. The, I'm the only answer there, yes, Dave. Yes, you. Exactly you. <laughs> Thank also, you. riding in Jake's 1970s van, the airbrushed van back there. I got to pull it around. That and, is super you know. cool. And did yeah. you see the Umbrella um, Corporation one? No. Raccoon City I, Fire Department. I thought that was real. I know me too, but it's I not. I fucking hate those Umbrella people. <laughs> what? Oh what? 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 Stop, stop talking about her. We were just stop talking about, about her. her. Stop back. talking about her. No. <laughs> We literally were. <laughs> well, and that's my that's my cue to go. It was good things, Felissa. Good things. That is my cue to go. Thank you so much for joining us, Dave. It's been a Thank pleasure. You. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I love you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Happy nightmares. Let's go get shots. <laughs> Yes. I didn't. Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, it is. Am I recording? And are you recording? Am I recording? I hope I don't unhit record. Yeah, there's a million it's buttons still... on here, Doug. Like, why, why do I get the small one? What's up with this? This is old and trusty. Yeah. It never fails. This is brand new. Mm -hmm. I don't trust it with you. Okay. If I fail, no one cares what I'm saying. Okay. Got it. <laughs>